Jonathan Yaniv threw his proverbial weight around in the courthouse this week in Surrey, British Columbia, as he responded to the civil suit David Menzies and myself filed against the Predator. Now, there's a lot to dissect in this document that Jonathan Yaniv filed at the courthouse this week. The first thing that I want to point out is the name of the person who filed the document in his own handwriting. Jonathan Yaniv admits his name is Jonathan Yaniv. In this document filed by Jonathan, it is made clear that he's not taking this civil suit seriously. He's never been in a position where he's actually had to be held accountable for his actions. But we're going to make sure that he is held accountable. You can see this whole document at yanivtrial.com. I'm going to go through his claims point by point, but I want to show you a video just for context of what happened to me on January 13th. Watch this. Go away from me. Go away. Fucking hell. Go away from me. Jesus, get away from me. Go away from me. Fucking crazy fucking get thing. Get away from me. Get away. Get the fuck away from me. Stay away from me. Get away from me. Now. Right now. You heard me? I'm calling the police on you. I don't give a shit. Get away from me. You stay away from me. I'm backing up. Now, one of the first claims that Jonathan makes in this document is that Kean would not go away from me and started to yell. Contrary to this, I approached Jonathan, and in the first three seconds of me asking a very level-headed question, Yaniv charged at me. Watch this. Yaniv, will you, will you be you pleading go? guilty? Go, 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 what? Go. No, go. don't touch me. Don't touch go. me. Go. Hey! hey. Go. Stop! Go away from me! Now, perhaps even more hilariously, Yaniv goes on to say, I grabbed him and used force myself. Now, as you can see in this video, both of my hands were quite clearly full of my camera equipment, and even though there was a lot to push back against, I didn't touch Yaniv. Now this one really cracks me up. Yaniv clearly has no recollection of what happened that day, even though there's video evidence from multiple angles of it happening. Yaniv says I called him freak and it. That's not quite how I remember it. Get away from me, Go you away fucking from me. crazy fucking Get thing. Get away from me. Kian also committed acts of hate by calling me by my birth name. It's considered offensive to call me this. <laughs> Now, this document doesn't just have fake claims about what happened to me on January 13th. It also has fake claims regarding my colleague, David Menzies, who was violently assaulted, even worse than I was, with a weapon, actually. Yaniv hit him repeatedly over the head with a cane. Watch this. You're not going to go close to Get out. Get away. Don't you. Get away. You better not. You better not. No. You make you contact. Go. You're going to go to jail. Go. You are going to huh? jail. Go away. I know. You're hey. Don't touch me. You're going to jail. Jonathan, why do you take, why do you send sexually explicit messages to young girls? Go away. You're going to jail. Go away. My iPad. Why don't you? Huh? Go away. Now this next statement is really ironic as Yaniv goes into a diatribe about how David couldn't have been injured from the brutal testosterone-fueled assault that he sustained at the hands of Yaniv as he was going about his regular reporting duties when he went to TransLink to see why they haven't confiscated Yaniv's handicap transit pass. Yaniv claims David was in a full and standing position and therefore the injuries that he sustained to his shoulder just couldn't have existed. Well, if that's the case, Yaniv, I have some pretty bad news for you. Okay, you, go you away. need to chill, Take lady. Private chill. property. Do you have any weapons on you? Get out. Property. Sorry, Yaniv. By your own logic, if you can participate in your own homemade 100-meter dash chasing after your little scooter, well, maybe you don't need a handicap pass at all. Now, Yaniv clearly intends to fight this. No matter how poorly, no matter how much the evidence is stacked against this manly predator, but we still need your help to actually follow through with this. We don't get lawyers for free, they cost money, and we want to hold Jonathan Yaniv accountable for his violent actions. If you want to help us, please go to yanivtrial.com to pitch in a few bucks to help us with the massive legal costs that come with fighting someone like this. For Rebel News, I'm Keen Bexty. Thanks for watching our coverage here at Rebel News. Please go to yanivtrial.com to see this full document. And if you want to pitch in to help cover our legal costs, it would go a long ways, and I'd very much appreciate it.